All right, what's going on, guys? We are doing the oil change on my car. So I'm gonna do 5W30 this time. And uh, I just got a Fram oil filter. Because I'm cheap. And they don't sell pure later at Walmart anymore and I'm not spending $10 on a pure later oil filter. Fram's all right, and it's good enough. Um, I guess I'm gonna go grab my drain pan and my jacks. This should be fun. money right there. Dad, I'm going to try to do this with one hand. I'm not going to be very good at this. Okay. I can't tell where I'm pouring. like hot from sitting in my car. So people ask me why I fill my oil filter up. It's because why would you put an empty oil filter in a car? Because it's obviously not gonna pump you know all that oil into that filter that was it was missing. And you're gonna end up running it dry for a bit while it's warming up. And warm up is the most important time to have oil on your car. So yeah, that's why I do that. So I got it jacked up on an axle stand. I'm gonna climb under here and dump this oil. And then I'm gonna top off that oil filter real quick. Oh god, liquid gold. And the car's already really hot because I drove it earlier, so it should be fun. You get your car jacked up and on an axle stand, you'll take that old cap off. You can grab yourself the vault team. I will get under here. I'm gonna break this thing loose. And if you've got a lowered car, you need to check your oil pan and you can see mine's been banged up just a little bit. But I got a spare I'm probably gonna throw in here at some point. Oh god, break that puppy loose. You're gonna start to unscrew it, but here's a trick. Let me switch camera hands. Well, that was trippy. While you're unscrewing, hold. Hold it. Pull it off real quick. And that way you don't drop it in the oil. Look at all that disgusting black gunk pulling out my shit. And then clean off your oil bolt and check the top washer. This one's a little fucked. It's a little scraped off. It's okay. Still, still looks good. I'll let that drain for a few minutes. I'm gonna start taking off the oil filter. Which is right there. So I reach up here. God, I need two hands for this one. You can break that loose. You don't let it drain out into your oil pan until it doesn't pour hot oil all over your hands. And then you just unscrew it off. Another trick too. Play on screw and it kind of push on it so it doesn't fall off. When it does finally come off, flip it over so it doesn't dump out. And then dump it in your open. Boom. So I just jacked up the other side of the car real quick. To let whatever is left in the oil pan dump out. Usually I do a flush if I go over. So I go get like another five quarts, dump it in with a new oil filter, run it for like a couple hundred miles, and then dump it out and then put the fresh oil in. But I'm gonna do an oil change this time. I ain't got the money for all that. Plus, if oil is black, it's just doing its job, it's <laughs> catching dirt and grime. I do see something I gotta gotta put back in is a missing header bolt. 
on the downpipe. Everything else looks okay. <laughs> you guys get to see my AC compressor delete. I just didn't put one on. And I just cut off all the hoses. And yeah, that's how you delete your AC. I'm gonna clean up my, my lug real quick. I just got this little t-shirt I use whenever I do oil changes. Let's make sure it's nice and shiny. There's no rocks or shit on it. Check the copper washer. Make sure it's not like smushed out in one area. I do need to replace the bolt at some point. But yeah, I'm about to throw this back on. Whenever you're at a slow drip, let's take this little nut, press it back in. Grab your 14, whatever size you use. Get it there. You don't want this thing to be super tight, but just like snug it up. You don't want it to fall out. So that's good. You're gonna move your oil pan out the way. Clean up any spill that you have, and then slide under there, throw on your oil filter. And then you're gonna take your nice, fill it up to the top with oil around the little gasket, oil filter. Don't slide under here to where you can comfortably see where you put that bitch in. And mine is right up in, uh, let me see. I can't even get this bitch on video. That's how comfortably I can see it, right there. So I think I'm just gonna come in from the side and put it on. And one of my biggest tips of the day is after you get your new oil filter on, you know, put it on quick if it's one of the sideways ones, because it's going to spill a little bit out. And it's okay to get a little bit out, but just mainly fill the whole thing. Put your oil bolt on before you put the filter on. And then uh, do not use an oil filter wrench to tighten it. Use an oil filter wrench to remove an oil filter. That should only be hand tight. Oh, I mean hand tight. I mean as hard as your hand can screw this on. That's it. Does not need to be torqued on to 500 fucking foot pounds. You don't need to cr if you crush the filter, go get a new one. Like, just put it on by hand. That's all you have to do. I don't know. When I first bought this car, I it had a crushed oil filter, and that shit, man. I had to hammer a screwdriver through the filter to remove it. It was fucking horrible. I don't know how hard they screwed that shit on. It was fucking stupid. But I mean. When I learned how to do it, you just screw it on hand tight. I've never heard of using an oil filter wrench to screw on an oil filter. It's to remove it. And then, uh, I mean, that's just that's just shit you gotta know. And then I'm about to fill this puppy up. I don't think I'm all fancy with this funnel. This might be the first time I've ever used a funnel to pour oil in my car. But just open your oil. You're only gonna put it's a four quart oil change with usually a half a quart for uh the, if you do the filter to it which you always do the filter yeah and after that you're gonna take your cars off the jacks make sure everything's tightened up and everything's good clean out all your stuff and then uh if you let your car sit for about a minute check the oil pan you can use the dump side of your oil pan to drain out all the oil in the oil filter little secrets the good stuff to know. Okay, now drop your old filter in the box and get ready to uh, get rid of that oil. You know, it's good to save one of these old jugs to dump that oil in. You can take it to AutoZone, Napa, pretty much anywhere, and they'll uh, dispose of the oil for you it's free. Don't dump it in the fucking grass. Unless you like have to and it's the apocalypse, you know, all that good shit. But look at that, you can see my cam. Hold on. Look at my expensive cams. Look at them. Yeah, I'm gonna check the oil real quick and see how that's looking. I can't really tell because that shit is uh, so clean, I can see through it. Okay. Now after you get all that done and your oil is on, you go pop this oil cap back on. Make sure it's nice and clean. I'm gonna wipe this off real quick on my shirt. Oh yeah. I've had this shirt since I was a fat sixth grader. So I don't really care too much about it. You know, it's clean. Get the gasket on there. Drop this puppy in there. Just spin it on. This one doesn't click. It just, like, get it like, uh, you know. Move this. Just get it ready. Drop it in here. You know, you can save up your clean oil from the leftover oil changes. And, uh, you know, get a free oil change in a few months. 
Let me. I had to save it. I'm gonna end up giving my buddies a free oil change whenever they need it and they don't have the money for it. Or yeah, decide about it. You could use that as the oil flush oil. Make sure your oil light does not come on. It might flicker while it's building oil pressure if you poured any oil out the filter. container to hold your oil. Use some Powerade bottles. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make sure I write do not drink on them. <laughs> but yeah, I guess Powerade bottles work. Like, look how sludgy this shit is. Like, when I poured the other oil in, I went to wipe my finger on it. It was just all, like, it would pretty much dry. It's like all the oil washed itself off. This shit's, like, sticky. It's nasty shit. That's when you start to lose viscosity oil purity and flow rate look how slow it's moving look at all that flow rate that you've lost change your fucking oil this is only 3,000 miles too it's like actually like 3,500 I went over a little bit but uh, the importance of changing your oil every 3,000 miles do not listen to what anybody tells you this is what's really going on look at that shit that shit is moving so slow nasty fucking shit yeah let anybody tell me Change your oil every five, ten thousand miles. This is a load of shit. This is fully synthetic oil. Valvoline. It's three thousand miles. I don't care. Just change it every three thousand miles. By the way, if you guys are wondering, it took almost three Powerade jugs for this oil change. You know, them tips, them top tips. By the way, maybe you throw this little oil filter away. Just put it in a Walmart bag or something. Like a shopping bag. Throw it in your car. It doesn't spill whatever leftover oils inside of it. Oh, your car. So if you're gonna go send your oil to a lab, get like a little clean container. And don't use like an old Powerade jug unless you clean it out really well. Make sure there's no water or anything in it. You can send it to a lab and get it tested and see if you get like a leaky head gasket or you know, burning too much oil. I mean, it'll even tell you if your oil pump's going out, or if your piston rings are burning up, or anything. It's pretty cool. So, you know, it's, I think it's like 15 bucks. I'm pretty sure Valvoline does it, and you can send it in. And check out the Max Life Valvoline oil. Um, it's just good shit, you know. But, yeah, you can send it into a testing. And, I mean, I, I just thought I would tell, tell you guys, you know, if I don't stop stuttering, to... Use a clean oil pan if you do do that, and use clean containers. You know, you don't want any Powerade getting in there and uh, messing with it. You know, don't run your oil too crazy over, just, you know, 3,000 miles. It's more than enough. But I guess I'm about to take this thing for a test drive. Let me, uh, let me throw on my radiator fans. Yeah, pretty much it. 